Welcome to the kingdom of Bahrain. I was in Canada two days ago with ski clothes, ski hats, gloves. It was zero degrees Fahrenheit. And I was shooting Lamborghinis drifting around in the ice. And now I'm in the Middle East. It is a weird world, it is a weird job that I have, uh, but I've found my way to Bahrain for the opening Grand Prix of the 2024 season. Today is Wednesday, it's media day. Um, but why are we doing media day on Wednesday? Well, this is a Saturday race. We're not racing the first race on Sunday because it's Ramadan. So, you know, it's a holy holiday. So we are racing on Saturday. So we're all here a day early. So I've had to travel all the way across the world to get here for Wednesday for media day. Uh, we have press conferences, we have driver appearances, doing a track walk. We'll have uh, time to do some details of the cars. Basically all those opening festivities of a Formula One Grand Prix. I'm really excited to be here. My body is completely jet lagged. I have no idea where I am. Thankfully, I've found a Starbucks. There's a Chili's around the corner. It feels just like home. I'm gonna head into the track uh, after I get a coffee, of course, and uh, get, this, get this weekend started. I'm really excited to be here. Big thanks to XPB Images for having me. Let's go. Got the accreditation. You need that to get into the paddock, so we're gonna head into the track. And uh, we've got media day today, so lots of driver appearances, uh, press conferences, get some work started. Had a quick lunch, um, about to head back into the paddock for the afternoon press conferences. A little bit of a walk to and from meal time, but that's okay. You get to burn off those calories that I just had with a brownie. But overall, it's been a good day. It's good to be back in the paddock. Good to see a lot of people that I haven't been able to see in a couple months, because I don't do that much Formula One. It's nice to be able to catch up with people and um, you know continue to make business relationships. It's not just about taking pretty pictures, it's about running a business. And I think a lot of people forget that. So yeah, gonna head back into the paddock. And today's mainly about doing, you know, driver candidates. You're t trying to take nice pictures of drivers getting interviewed and uh, maybe some car details if you can find a shot with the cars, you know, not covered up. Um, there's a lot of spy photography happening today. I'm not doing it, but there's a lot of people doing spy photography, so yeah, it's always interesting to see how they do that and how they cover the cars and how the teams hide various parts. There's a lot to this business that people don't even necessarily know anything about, so it's pretty cool. This video is brought to you by Paddock Focus Photography Workshops. Want to learn how to become a professional motorsport photographer or simply improve your racing images? Check out paddockfocus.teachable.com and use the code PFYouTube for 10% off. Good Friday morning from Bahrain. Uh, today is qualifying day here for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Yesterday, practice one, practice two was a pretty good day. I spent practice one, um, kind of in sector two area where there's lots of painted runoff and it's really pretty, uh, lots of color. You kind of do a slow pan and then you, the sessions are so short now, it's only an hour. Uh, and I know people are like, an hour, that's an eternity. But an hour is not that long when you're trying to capture pictures of every car from every spot and do something artistic with it. It's hard. So yeah, it is, uh, not really sure what to do with this video vlog. I'll kind of, I guess, do these updates where I just walk around the middle of uh, 
town where Formula One can't stop me. And there's a cool Mercedes G-Wagon. Um, but yeah, Formula One can't stop me out here. It makes no sense to me why that's the case, why you can have an influencer get invited to the paddock club and you know, it's totally fine that they film stuff, but then somebody that actually knows what they're talking about and, and is involved with the sport can't talk about the sport, can't show that they're at the event. Um, it really makes no sense to me. Today we've got practice three today and qualifying. I'm not sure what my plan is. Uh, I'll kind of figure it out when I get to the track, walk around. Um, you know, of course we get the drivers walking in, which is an interesting part of Formula One that we don't really do in any other sport. You don't really, you know, sit around waiting for Joseph Newgarden or Alexander Rossi to walk into the IndyCar paddock. Um, it's kind of just an F1 thing, but really it started 10 or so years ago where Lewis Hamilton really turned his entrances into like a, a catwalk where it's, there's a fashion show and he's being sponsored by, you know, the, the clothing brands that he wears. So yeah, it's just a thing that happens in Formula One. I don't hate it, but it's not a lot of fun either where you're basically like having to wait for the drivers to arrive in the morning. It just seems silly. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go qualifying. All right, heading out to practice three, trackside. I'm gonna head to the drag strip area, which is a nice shot for single car action, multi-car action. Uh, it works horizontally, it works vertically. It's all pretty nice. Um, so I'll start there, see how it looks, and then probably head under the control tower, which is also a really nice shot for really tight group action. Um, you get them locking up sometimes if they make a mistake. So yeah, currently got my 500 millimeter lens and a 7200 on my other shoulder. So I've got all the options, gonna head out trackside, see what I can make work and see what I can make stick for this session. Well, overall, that was a pretty decent day. Um, I spent practice three and qualifying trackside. I didn't go on pit lane for either of them. The pit lane access is very restricted in Formula One. You have to sign up on a list to get pit lane access, so I was not on that list for practice three. But overall, I feel pretty good about the pictures. Uh, qualifying was a lot of fun. I was doing sparky shots, so basically you go to a corner where you know that they're really loaded up and the cars come through and they hit a big bump. When they hit that big bump, the titanium skid plates underneath the car go big sparks. Um, the Saubers, the kick, stake, whatever the is, Saubers were throwing huge amounts of sparks to the point where it was actually so hard to photograph them because you just can't see through this shower of sparks. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to kind of be out there. Tomorrow's the big day, tomorrow's race day. So I'm gonna get some food here at an Italian restaurant in Bahrain. It's a good Italian restaurant actually. Um, and then get to bed and uh, we've got a big day tomorrow. It is race day here in Bahrain. Um, I'm gonna be Heading to the circuit here shortly, I'm walking to my colleague's hotel so I can take my nice big luggage bag because we're going to be going straight from the track tonight to the airport and I'm going to be flying home after a long two weeks away. So yeah, we've got a busy morning today. Obviously, Formula One race days are just kind of chaotic with a lot of you know build up to the actual race. So we have the driver's parade. Um, the 2008 McLaren that Lewis Hamilton won the world championship in will also be doing some laps around the track. So I'm gonna try and take some pictures of that again. Race day isn't really so much about single car action. It's more about getting groups of cars together. Um, no one is allowed on pit lane. There's maybe two or three pit wall vests that are, that are handed out by Formula One. So I will not be having one of those. And it's not really a picture that I'd want anyway. So, you know, just doing pit stops from the pit wall isn't really my idea of, of an artistic shot. It can be artistic, but it's just not what I'm gonna do, and I don't have the opportunity to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go. It's race day. end 
of the Bahrain Grand Prix. So one of the nice things about working in Formula One, working in Formula One races, is that you don't really have to edit pictures on a laptop like you normally do with other races. It's basically sending pictures live from our camera to our editor in England, and he's handling everything separately. Like you don't even really have to edit anything, um, which has you know upsides and downsides. But basically, we just uploaded all of our pictures from the back of our camera. JPEGs to him and he's sorting and doing quick edit if it needs it and then delivering it to clients. Um, so we left the track, you know, an hour after the race, after the podium was over. So once press conferences and all that's done, we're out of there. Uh, it wasn't a great race. It was another Max Verstappen domination. I think 2024 is going to be pretty much how we left off with 2023 and just Max rolling on everybody. Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best Formula One race ever, but that's okay. They can't all be bangers. But I enjoyed the race. I enjoyed the race weekend. I enjoyed being here in Bahrain for the first round of the season. Um, so I'm heading back home. I've got the 12 hours of Sebring coming up next week. Not next week, the week after next. Uh, so I get a little bit of time at home with my family. And... Uh, you know, a child having a temper tantrum right here next to me reminds me maybe why I don't want to be going home right now. Um, yeah, but I love it. I love being a dad. I'm excited to be home. It's, it's hard being away for as long as I am. I love my job. I love the travel. I love racing. I love my, I love everything about my job. I love what I cover. I love the variety that I cover, but it is really hard being away from family. So I'm excited to be home for a little bit. Um, but yeah, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate the, the views and the comments and the engagement that people have with me and, and what I do. So I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see a whole bunch of you at Sebring. See you soon.